Okay, this is just ripping. <laughs> All right, just that. <laughs> okay, bro. <This> is just... <laughs> I like people don't think I'm a little nuts. <laughs> Hold on, my finger's not in there. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Brewing Review. Oh, it's a week that Corey nice. didn't say. Corey's, like is, Corey's is funnier. <laughs> when I'm on the internet, I'm watching Brewing All right, you pedophile looking weirdo, what are we drinking today? <laughs> oh, dude, fuck, dude, dude, don't call me a pedophile, bro. <laughs> Right. Today we, what's on the top of your lip there, the little, the little tickler? Let's cut this shit. Are you a pedophile? What? No. What do we got today, Corey? Today we've got Surly Brewing's Furious IPA. This is a 6.7 percent by volume chunk of Bruja that we're about to be slamming all daddy like, you know? There's no one in this world that can say our channel is similar to another channel. That's you know what? Fact. We at least have identity. We got identity, bro. Dang. This is one of the first IPAs I ever had when I ventured outside of like Bell's Too Hard. Swear to gosh. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. And what are we feasting on today, Mr. Sean? Well, we took a trip down the old non GMO, gluten free, soy free, no MSG, no nitrates aisle, and we picked up what I'm assuming is a really terrible pizza from Kiki's. Kiki. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be my corny ass self if I didn't use this clip. Kiki. Are you riding? Good one, Drake. That one probably bought you a house in the Hamptons. Deep dish pizza, Italian sausage, gluten free, like I said. Yeah, never seen this Kiki's brand before because I avoid that aisle. Oh, I Give me that back. All right. So this is what we're having. Price check. $14.99. It was six, seven dollars for this uh, deep dish pizza pie. Seven bucks, dude? Seven bucks, dude. No, you're wrong. It's $13.99, dumbass. <laughs> I already told you, dumbass. It says it right there, bro. Deep dish sausage. Dumbass, 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 dumbass. So this is probably about 500 calories a slice. That's what's up. About 480. Thing was, you had to microwave it for six oh, yeah, to tell eight about minutes. Me. Six to eight minutes in the microwave. And then put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Hey, we have other things to do. I mean, I don't, but. We don't. I'm it's kidding. not the point. Right. <laughs> All right, so here's what a piece of pizza from Kiki's looks like on a Canon 80D. And here's me cheersing my friend Corey. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheese on the ground. Cheers. Cheers. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but very soft. Oh, pretty gross. It honestly, oh boy. Boy, do I love MSG and nitrates, apparently. Oh, that's gross. Oh man, what'd they do to this cheese? Why'd they ruin cheese? I usually like cheese. That's nasty. That's nasty cheese. Let me try the sausage. I like meat. Can't F meat up. Wow, that's bland. Wow, that's nasty. <laughs> Why would one eat that? Why would one eat that? Oh, that is not delicious to me at all. Corey. Yes, sir. Whole milk, mozzarella cheese, What's pasteurized it? milk, cheese cultures, salt, enzymes. What they do to it? For a company that's not putting all this crap oh, in it, that's... this ingredients list is too long. Bro. Look take... at all these ingredients. Look. Take a piece of just sausage and try just salt. Here, look, there's others here I'm not gonna eat This is a sausage, right? Yes, it is. Does that taste normal to you? Mine tastes very odd. It tastes really watery. You know what I mean? Like when you bite into sausage, it's supposed to be like a flavor explosion. It tastes like I bit into a sausage flavored ice cube. Oh, whatever it was, it was gross, dude. It didn't taste like it came from pig. That tastes like that. That's rat That's rat sausage or something. That is gross. Okay, dude. I don't think this is as bad as Corey, but this is not a pizza that anyone Taste should that. buy. This is not very good. Tell me how you feel about it. Off camera? Oh yeah, it's just flavorless. Flavorless. Mm. You know what's interesting too? I don't like it. You're making a pizza that already doesn't have all the fun stuff in it. Yeah. And then you're gonna make it a deep dish pizza that doesn't have the flavors right. in it. Right. So you have more calories that don't taste good. Actually, there's an aftertaste to that sausage that tastes like cardboard. So. Maybe that's recycled sausage, which is where you just take cardboard and you recycle it into the mound of sh sausage. Yeah, you, like, you have the technology to do that and you go, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a pizza place that does that. Mmm, that is great. Kiki, I do not like you. Every item on here that they said, no, none of this, it says no MSGs, Soy free, gluten mm -hmm, free. Mm -hmm. Add those items back in, bro. Put them back in. Man, that crust is bad. My grandfather is 95 years old, and he's just his entire life 
eating GMO, MSG, nitrates. Dude is doing great. Oh yeah, dude. There was a lady who turned like 115 and was on the news said she just eats a piece of bacon a day. I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. That and smoking cigarettes till she was like 95. So I put a bunch of the Chef Iron Mike, like the actual pizza sauce on it, the Vesuvius. It's like eating really good sauce if you balled up a bunch of paper put it under the faucet for a second, let it dry out a little bit, and then maybe sprinkle some oregano. Mm, this won a Fabby Award. That's made up. Yeah. We made up our own awards. Just because you That's can. my last paper towel, bro. Yeah, get new ones. Here, use this. <laughs> Just because you can make a frozen pizza company doesn't mean you should. No, matter of fact, sometimes you just flat out shouldn't. <laughs> and I don't even really like this beer. Nothing about today do I like. You don't like this beer? Nope. Come on, this is a really good IPA. No, it is not. It's furious. No, it's not good at all. This is gross. This isn't even a real IPA. Did you read the back? They fooled me. I think you're so brainwashed by this trash pizza no. that it's letting you not enjoy beer. No, this is not good. It's not good. You know What's what? What's that thing doing? Oh, she gets mad. It's right, not, no, it's not an IPA. Imperial Red Ale, Hoppy Red, not really an Amber. Furious breaks all the, well that makes me mad now. It's very ambery, which I don't like Amber, so of course I wouldn't like this. And you would never date a girl named Amber. Years ago, I know you're married, let's get that out of the way. But Amber is traditionally, they're, they're trouble. My friend uh, Scotty dated Amber and she hit him with a car when they broke up. <laughs> you know, well, he also is crazy too. So it's two crazies <laughs> dating. Exhibit A and- But she legit hit him with a car, bro. She ran him over, dude. Why is every story of your friends, someone's got either stole a car, got hit by a car. Yeah, dude. Next time we're in Toledo, I'm sure Scotty will be there. We gotta ask him. Scotty West, Hey, like, bro, did you really get hit by a car by an Amber? He was yep. at your wedding, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I talked to him about that. Oh, I bet. About that? He brought That's it awesome. up. Awesome. Good for him. Car. Remember when Amber hit Scotty with a car? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's just universal <laughs> knowledge in this house. Sinky, we need to act. <laughs> Whoa! I am so sorry, man. I am so sorry. I didn't even effing see you. All right, well, that was a thorough bummer and a half. Uh, let's try to revive this video by talking about things that we really like by doing a shout out. Merch on, merch on, merch on. We got a merch channel, number 6 is our website, on said website. You can buy the Sixer sauce that tried its damnedest to uh, revive pizzas on this channel that aren't good. T-shirts. Koozies, all kinds of stuff to support the channel. So we're gonna go ahead and name two people that have bought off the website. Keep in mind, if you buy the subscription service of Sixer Sauce, you get your name set immediately. Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Jeff D'Augustino. <laughs> Huge fan. Um, dude, I love you. You know, we love you. Uh, we see all the time comments, and you're, you've ordered literally everything we've ever made, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and he's somebody, he has every item, and he's also somebody that I Facebook message with. Like, that's how much I, Jeff and I are like buddies now. He's dude. the freaking man. Lives in Alaska. Yep, we mail this out to Alaska, and what do we mail him? One Sixer sauce and one sticker sheet. Amongst, just, he's bought it all. So Jeff, you know I'm gonna clap for you again, just cause I love you dude. Merch shout number two, another huge fan, somebody who's always commenting, comments on this stuff on Patreon right away, which truly makes her upper echelon, Miss Elizabeth Ricard. Uh, she's bought a bunch of stuff too. Today, we're shouting her out for her two Sixer Sauce purchases. So Elizabeth's got those. Where's Elizabeth from? I actually don't know. Uh, oh, Hopewell, Virginia. Virginia, so. Do you ever see what she comments on Patreon? Mostly just roasts me. Oh, you do know? She roasts me constantly. She keeps me in check. We both thought that you don't ever check Patreon, because I She always, roasts me. And she always, she's usually like, I know Sean doesn't ever comment, and then just roasts you. That's oh, funny. yeah. Do you actually I, read those? I read them all, and I just let it happen. I, just, I thought for sure you also did it, and me and her have just been like doing double team on you. No, it's funny because Elizabeth is the type of person that's like tough love. Mm -hmm. Like she, I know, because she'll come on other people's channels and say how much she likes us. I know she's just, you know, yanking my tail, she's if you queen. will. She she's really gets that. So, Jess, Elizabeth, thank you. Number 6 cheesecom Buy something off the sub site. Support the show. Roast me on Patreon. It's all good, dude. It's all love. Until I go to bed at night and I lay there and I think about how sad I can get and how what I do for a living is awful. But other than that, we love it. <laughs> God damn. It's like I try, you know. Stop, Brian. Stop. All right, Eric McCluskey. Oh, there he is. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. You guys know what's coming. <laughs> uh, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you didn't like whatsoever the Kiki's Italian sauces, non-GMO, non-anything tasty. Oh. oh. 
the worst frozen pizza we've ever had. You know, I'm, people say, oh, go ahead. I'm saying it. That's why I just you, wanted to get it out there. <laughs> you know, how people say that there's no such thing as bad pizza. There's a such thing as bad pizza. Those we found it. Those people have never had this. That's and like people be like, pizza's like sex. There's no such thing as any bad version of it. This is like banging a glass, a, a, <laughs> a, a bowl full of glass. This is like fawning over a girl that you've liked for years and she finally goes, you know what? Fine. Let's hook up. And, it's and like, you finish in one second. It's that like, is today. It's in. This would be like banging out a cheese grater, dude. Like just putting no lube, just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, no offense, like it takes a lot for us to say all this stuff. This was kind of a bummer, dude. I actually mean to offend you. I'm kind of of the school of thought <laughs> that you can You're not like, gonna change unless he says yeah, it. Yeah, like that's how I got better in life is people telling me how bad I was at stuff, and then I was like, well, I don't like the way that feels. Right. Let me get better at that so they don't say that anymore. Make this food better, bro. This is kiki. 100 percent This is brutal. It should be $6.99, by the way. It Call. should be free, bro. <laughs> you know what this should they should actually wow. pay me to throw it in the trash for them. That's all I'm doing with this. Yeah. Taking that from one from one freezer aisle to a, t a trash can. Yeah, this reminds me of Ron Swanson and, and April Ludgate walking into like that Whole Foods yes. and them handing him the bacon yeah. and him going, I'll have another. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. Another, please. I'm just making sure no one ever has to eat this. I want one. Literally the best clip we can give for this. I think this pizza game. I'm gonna fight Kiki on the spot yeah. if I see her. Ugh. All right, anyways, we're gonna avoid the gluten-free aisle from now on. Disrespecting pizzas like this, dude. <laughs> we'll see you guys Monday for a brand new episode of the show. Uh, thanks for watching. Really weird day. Sure! I'll have a drink. Damn it. <laughs>